was my last year of college. I mostly just wanted to pay for my own habit, you know, use for free. But then, you know, people started hearing about me and the next thing you know, I mean, I didn't mean to get into this business. It just kind of happened. When I was a kid, it would help me concentrate. It doesn't have the same effects on me like it has on most people. I use it medically. It lets me focus. 50% of all U.S. citizens are addicted. Think about that. That's one in every two people you know. The worst part is the crash. Nothing like that crash. You're up and you're high for 20, 30 minutes. And for the next two hours, you are it could be your daughter, it could be your son, it could be your grandmother. This is America's killer. Seventy million citizens over the age of 60 have been reported to have substance abuse. And that substance is sugar, also known as sweet. Sweets. Syrup, honey raw, molasses, and for sweet. I get my sweet from Hawaii. Uh, I know it's more expensive, but it's quality over quantity. All right? They have it all. They have uh, granulated, raw, cubed, brown, powdered, all of it. You can rock it up. Uh, which requires you to boil it and chemically treat it in some way. Uh, this will make it about 100 times more potent. 38% of the student body as freshmen have consumed sugar since prohibition. By the time they're seniors, that jumps up to 87%. I use once an hour. I spend all my money on it. We'll run you 20 bucks for the brown. I can eat. Or I can sweet, you know? I guess you could call me a closet addict. My family doesn't know. Well, I don't sell to kids, if that's what you're asking. I may sell to someone who sells to kids, but I don't sell to kids. Or the elderly. My friends don't know. The only one who knows is my drug dealer. Motherfuckers will have a fucking heart attack on your ass. It helps me be creative. I want like eight, depending on the different types of sweet, you know? Because these are really good for like, I don't have to deal with them, I don't have to put anything in. Annie Dundalk, artist, musician, hair model. Uh, Cavities, insatiable appetite, diabetes. Can I just have one right now? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay for it. Okay, don't, don't touch, I'm let sorry. me grab you, okay? Sweet. Well, you probably already know this, but sugar was in everything from, from cereals to sodas, bread to salad dressings. Uh, but you may not know that uh, sugar was evident in, in our milk and other dairy products. It was in our spaghettis and our spaghetti sauces. It was in dried fruit. The problem is, <laughs> it's natural, or it can be, right? Uh, if, it, if it's taken in moderation, it's a real, really no harm. Unfortunately, uh, if you have no self-control, After the incident, um, my husband and I, we grew further apart. And um, I guess that was the time I started using. You know, I think, I think these laws are stupid. And I think it just, it makes criminals out of good, normal people. Because I'm not a criminal. I think that, you know, people are going to try to judge and, you know, I'm not going to let that touch me. I'm not going to let their judgments don't touch me because I know ultimately what I do is help people. This is my son. I was the one who found him. And I'm sorry, it was only five years ago and, and still, 
it was sweet rock. And it was still on his tongue when I found him. <laughs> I, I think the awareness is the most important thing. People need to be aware of the numbers uh, and be aware that this affects everybody. It's Even if you are not one of these people who is addicted, the addiction itself is destroying the economy. It's destroying our country as a whole. Uh, just remember, it's, it's one in two. So if it's not me, it's, it's you. Nothing would make me stop. I know what you're thinking. Um, I've seen people lose their limbs, lose their, their toes. It never happened to me. You know, you see the decriminalization in certain states. You see people protesting, fighting for their right to be free and do sweet, basically. Uh, so, you know, in five years, I'd like to open up my own shop, like a, like a candy shop, you know? where people can come, they can get a little taste of their childhood again, where they can get a little something something for their coffee or a little half a cup of sugar for a pie they want to make, whatever. You know, that's, that's, that's where I see, see my business going. <laughs>